Muhammad Ali, the most iconic and legendary boxer of all time, was born as Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr. in 1963. He faced a fight that almost changed his undefeated streak and even his boxing career. Muhammad Ali, who would leave a legacy both inside and outside the ring, began his boxing career at a young age and showed extraordinary talent from the start. At the age of 18, he won the gold medal in the light heavyweight category at the 1960 Rome Olympics. This was just the beginning of Muhammad Ali's success, creating a platform for him to enter professional boxing and showcase his skills in the ring. In 1964, Ali had the opportunity to face the world heavyweight champion, Sonny Liston. Despite being considered a significant underdog, Ali surprised the world with his speed, agility, and innovative boxing style. Over body and right hand, the best punch in the fight so far. After seven intense rounds, Liston couldn't continue the fight due to a shoulder injury, and Ali became the youngest world heavyweight champion in history. They might be stopping it, that might be all, ladies and gentlemen. Get up there, Joe. Get up there. Get up in the ring. But Muhammad Ali had to win another important fight to achieve this victory. He had to step into the ring with the Englishman Henry Cooper, a fight that could have altered his undefeated streak and even his boxing career. Henry Cooper, known as our Henry Cooper, started his boxing career at a young age, just 17 years old. Cooper excelled in the heavyweight category and became one of the most popular and beloved boxers in Great Britain. His boxing style was characterized by his powerful left hook, which earned him many victories throughout his career. He made his professional debut at the age of 20, winning by knockout in the first round against Harry Painter in September 1954. In the first two years of his career, Cooper had a modest record with 12 victories, nine of them by knockout, but then suffered two defeats. However, he achieved a significant professional victory in May 1956 by knocking out his undefeated compatriot, Brian London, who would later challenge for the world title. After this triumph, Cooper's career started to decline as he won only two fights, drew one, and suffered five defeats in the following two years. But giving up was not an option for Cooper, he persevered and continued to train hard in boxing, leading to an impressive winning streak with 12 wins out of 13 fights during this period. The Englishman Henry Cooper won the British champion title and gained fame throughout the British Empire. His popularity grew and he became a true star in his homeland. However, he faced an unfortunate disadvantage that no amount of training could fix. His skin, especially on his face, was very sensitive and prone to cuts and bruises. Often, even in his great victories, Henry seemed to have taken a bath in blood, as evidenced in the fight against Muhammad Ali, who was still known as Cassius Clay at that time. Cassius Clay, at the age of 21, was already a sensation, putting on a show of skill and ability in the ring. He decided to fly to London to face Europe's strongest boxer in the squared circle. Cassius Clay said, the local fan's idol, Henry Cooper, loves London and I like it here. I am very happy for the British because they are now seeing the greatest boxer in history. I regret that to fight against that big ugly bear, Sonny Liston, I have to beat such a handsome man like Henry, said the ever immodest Cassius. At the weigh-in before the fight, the American said, You have a queen and need a king. I am the king. Cooper's fans erupted, asking him to give a warning to the undefeated American and put him in his place. And so, on June 18, 1963, this encounter in the ring took place, with 35,000 fans at the legendary Wembley Arena eagerly watching their favorite, Henry, take on the brash American, Clay. Cooper immediately made it clear to his opponent that it wouldn't be an easy victory. 
Henry Cooper, a respected and experienced British pugilist, was at the peak of his career. On the other hand, Cassius Clay, a young and charismatic American boxer, was forging his path to greatness. The fight was billed as a clash of styles, with Cooper seeking to unleash his powerful left hook and Clay using his speed and agility to counter. The fight began with both fighters measuring distances and evaluating each other. Cooper showed his composure from the start, landing precise punches and trying to find an opening to connect with his formidable left hook. Clay, on the other hand, moved with agility, evading Cooper's attacks and throwing rapid combinations. As the bout progressed, Clay started to impose his style and speed on Cooper. He used his famous footwork and evasive maneuvers to frustrate his opponent's attacks. However, Cooper never gave up and continued to throw powerful punches, hoping to land a decisive blow. It was in the fourth round that the pivotal moment of the fight occurred. Cooper threw a left hook that found its target and connected with Clay's chin, causing him to stagger and fall to the canvas. At that moment, the world held its breath as Clay tried to recover. However, Clay was fortunate that the referee intervened and inspected Cooper's gloves, discovering that one of them was torn. Under the rules, this was not allowed, and the referee decided to temporarily stop the fight for Cooper's glove to be repaired. This brief break was vital for Clay, as it allowed him to recover and refocus on the match. From that moment on, Clay became more cautious and aware of Cooper's power. He used his speed and defensive movements to avoid dangerous punches. As the rounds went on, Clay began to wear down Cooper with precise punches and quick lateral movements. Cooper displayed bravery and resilience, but Clay's technical and physical superiority became evident. Finally, in the fifth round, Clay unleashed a barrage of powerful punches that forced the referee to intervene and stop the fight. Cassius Clay was declared the winner by technical knockout. However, this fight was not only remembered for the result, but also for Henry Cooper's courageous effort in the momentous fourth round. The bout showcased the quality of both boxers and left an indelible mark in the history of sports.